Um, can I share my screen very quickly? Is it showing up? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Um, so what did we come up with? Um, Oliver and I had this idea of trying to improve the build speed time for the entire project, because as you know, it kind of like, you usually like set and then to build and go make yourself some coffee and then come back and it's still building and it kind of like takes a bit of a while. Um, and so we try to go about this and basically try to go through every component and try to make it faster. Our main goal of all this, like the, the, the big idea was to build speed, um, but there are sort of like percent, like different packages contribute different percentages uh, of the build time to the totals. Um, so what we did was focusing on the two biggest like um, uh, guilty parts of this, which were basically the node space package, which as you know, it's gigantic. Like you can do a visualization of this and it's, whew, it's very big. And then the editor UI, which for some reason, like this combination of view and Webpack and so on, it in, in compiling SAS uh, also takes a while. So if you want numbers, um, I did this. And so we discovered with this that Lerna is a liar because if you build with Lerna, you check the total time and then you pick out the different like times that it takes for the different packages to build, the numbers don't add up, which is interesting. Yes, like literally, they're completely wrong. We run it many times and with different systems. So there are two totals, but the actual total for an M1 machine is this one, so 146 seconds. Um, and from this, I don't know what else to mention here, uh, we decided to go basically to focus on node space and edit to a UI. We had ES build, which I don't know if you guys know it, but it's kind of like a Golang compiler for TypeScript to JavaScript. So it's much faster than using JavaScript to compile JavaScript, like way faster. Um, and then we thought about, for example, there's this Turbo repo, um, like more modern alternative to Lerna, where you can, for example, with Lerna, you do like you have many packages or you run every command for every package, one after the other in a, in a pipeline. But with Turbo repo, which was recently acquired by Vercel, what you can do is basically collapse all the waterfalls um, by using, um, sort of by allowing it to, an, to analyze sort of the dependencies that there are there and to use many threads so that, uh, as you can see here, for example, you can lint test, lint test instead of um, going one by one. Um, and so what we did was first in the ES build case, as you know, um, so I was saying it was, let me just give you the number, but it took no space, 40 seconds, right? With ES build, let me just move you guys out of the way. With ES build, you run it and it takes 580 milliseconds. Again, 466 milliseconds, uh, 424 milliseconds. So if you do some calculation, you could say that we're at like 40,000 milliseconds minus what? 400 milliseconds divided by 40,000 milliseconds. We're seeing a bit of a reduction of 99% in the build time for node space, which is a good start, I think. Um, then what we can do is just keep going with all the other sort of parts of the project, because I mean, this is just, this is half of it, right? Um, and I was thinking maybe it would make sense for Oliver to explain what he's been doing with the editor UI. He's been making a lot of progress, but you have to remember this is kind of like a, an experiment. So let me stop sharing so that Oliver can take over. Yep. Uh, as Ivan previous described, the main goal was to speed up the process and to reduce the time for the developer when uh, when developers build uh, the projects. So basically, I was working on the editor UI uh, packages, uh, basically, and I think we are near nineteen percent uh, done with with speeding up the process. The main, uh, as Ivan described, the main goal was reducing the time. And uh, I was uh, using this as a built library instead of Vue CLI, because in, uh, uh, when I tested also on the standalone project, uh, it reduced uh, the building time for nearly 90%. And 
it will be uh, really cool stuff for developers. Basically, the main problem that I that I face here was the compiling the SAS variables. And uh, as I research a little bit, a little bit, I will uh, give give you overview uh, how was done uh, previous. So basically, uh, there was just a second. So basically, uh, the view CLI and the webpack, there are some options to prepare data, data uh, to uh, import the variables that we are using through every few components in the editorial packages. Basically, it is our application. And with the as a build, as a build package that will reduce the time for compiling every files, there is a little problem with it. So I am trying uh, together with Ivan uh, in the last couple of uh, one or two hours, we were trying to figure out what, what is the problem and uh, how we will solve this situation. And we come out with some solution that we will continue to implement it. So basically it shows only error uh, on you can see only we, uh, the compiler could not uh, see the could not compile the variables that comes from uh, the team. So basically, that is. But I'm pretty sure that uh, in the next hour we will find proper solution for it, and we we will use it for the future purpose. So everyone that is working on the uh, application as developer will, will be happy. That will save a lot of time during typing OSMPM run DevOps or build.